All right, what's up, guys? So today's video is inspired by the Clips channel, Anime Lunati Clips channel. If you if you saw that, I made a Clips channel a month ago or so. So if you haven't already, subscribe, check it out. You know, I'm posting up clips from all over the years. You know, tournaments we've done, streams from home, all sorts of cool stuff. But check it out. But anyway, the the topic of discussion came from a clip I uploaded of some non esports. FTC commentary. So it's a, a little tournament for Fate Unlimited Codes. Also known as Fuck FUC. Not not, not the, the hard K in there. FUC, as we lovingly like to call it. But let's watch the clip and see what happens here. It's everyone's favorite commentator, Obama, here doing some live content. Here you go. The exact same concept for both games. What the fuck right, right, right. is this game? This is Fate Unlimited Code. This is some real what ass shit. You, You're a man, play this game. If you having trouble executing in Street Fighter 4, honestly, stay, stay in Street Fighter 4 and 5 where it's safe. Stay your ass out of this game. This game will make a man out of you. This is fuck. Real men play this. This is fuck. F U C. This is fuck. You want sex? This is fuck. Look at this priest blessing this young guy. Push it to the wall. Oh my god, stop corner. Grab her by the hair. That's a fucking wig, bitch. I know it is. <laughs> got him. Give him a chance. Oh, put me in chains, mama. Luke said oh, Luke. Like David that went over a lot of people's heads, I know. Get the launch. Nicki Minaj, I see you, girl. Nicki Minaj, I see you, girl. And so there we go. The clip ends here. So let me give you a little background right now about this. So this, this clip, uh, Fatal Limited Codes, was taken at uh, KSB in 2018, I believe. So KSB is a tournament dedicated to poverty games. So we do like Ranma out there. We did what, like Saint Seiya. We have Fatal Limited Codes. There's all sorts of poverty games out there. And... It took place in Osaka. So it was a group of like six of us traveled from Tokyo to Osaka. We took the bullet train. We paid for our own tickets. We carried the equipment to stream it. Like we all had to take like one major suitcase. So it was a, it was a group effort. We went out there. We spent, it was four days, the four day long event, right? Four days. And we did commentary for like at least 10 hours a day. That's like 40 hours of commentary in four days. We were busting our asses just to do this and bring this out for you. And we got paid nothing. Zero dollars. We did not get paid to do any of this. So we're just out here having fun, enjoying it. Look, like a majority of people enjoyed it as well. You know, the viewers had fun with it, but not everybody. This is what I want to talk about. So not everybody enjoys this kind of grassroots FTC experience. So this guy was very, very upset in the comments. So this man right here, S Factor Sam says, all hype. He's talking about Obama's commentary, right? All hype and no substance, IMO. Commentary isn't a comedy act, is it? It's the focus to make people laugh or feel ego stroked. Isn't the purpose of commentary to be the bridge between the viewers and the gameplay to give insight and unseen elements of what's happening and enrich the viewing experience? I know that's my goal whenever I do commentary. So this guy is apparently a top commentator. That's his goal when he does it, but he keeps going. So this guy replied to like 30 different messages. He replied, and he would have made a comment he would reply to. So this is the one that got me here, ready? Commentary by definition is about the game enriching the spectating experience with insight into the unseen elements like the mind games and decision making. So in reality, there's not two FTCs. There's the people who care about the game, and the people care more about the vulgar grassroots culture than the game being played. So this guy says the definition, the definition of commentary is enriching the spectating peers insight into the unseen. So Obama, what Obama is doing is not commentary. That's not what commentary is supposed to be. You know, having fun, having fun, you know, chilling, like enjoying the fighting game in front of you together with the viewers. Like that's not real commentary. That, that, that kind of pissed me off. So this guy, this random dude, this random nobody, who claims to be a commentator is trying to find what commentary is and what i want to say is that you cannot define what commentary is there is no like correct way there is no this is what commentary should be this is what it's supposed to be so everyone everyone does commentary you know you all bring something completely different to the table and then the good commentators you know like obama uh yipes steve anybody you know a good commentator can bring multiple things to the table or they can bring you know different things to different tables, right? It doesn't always have to just be this kind of style. If you're at a different event, you're gonna do something different. I think this this problem in like this this kid, this, this guy is definitely a kid. He's definitely a kid. This idea that like it's not real commentary and blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm a good commentator, blah, blah, blah. I think this stems from the fact that there is, a, there is a role of being a commentator now. So back in the day, you know, allow me to just be an old man and just, just reminisce and ramble. But back in the day, there was no such thing as a commentator. You see all these dudes now in their FTC or their Twitter profiles, they put, I'm a commentator, I'm a commentator. 
Back in the day, there was no commentator. There was just players. It was just a group of people who played the game. Everyone's just at the tournament. Everyone's just playing. Everyone's having fun. And if if your your tournament was being recorded, it wasn't streamed. There was no streams. If your tournament was being recorded and they had a mic, some dude would just get on. You know, some guy would just get on the mic. You lost your tournament. Just all right, get on. Just talk about what's happening right now. And that that's that kind of to me. That's the old school. So my favorite, my favorite commentator ever. Not ever, but my favorite commentator, especially back in the day, was Rockefeller. So Rockefeller used to do third strike commentary at, I think it was FFA, Family Fun Arcade. He was so good. He was so funny. I would watch, I would download these videos off like Kazar shit because we didn't have YouTube. I would like download them and watch the third strike Ranbats, the, the tournaments they would have. And I didn't even play third strike. You know, I did not play third strike at all. The only time I ever watched it was watching when they would have those tournaments because his commentary was so good. And... That's that kind of old school content. The, the new school, right? This new idea of this new generation of kids that I want to be a commentator. I'm a commentator. Like this guy said, commentary, like by definition, right? By definition, blah, blah, it's supposed to be this. I feel like they have this idea of like, this is what it's supposed to be. And they're trying to just kind of fit a role. You know, they're not, they're not just being in, like Obama in that clip. That's Obama being himself. That's him liking fighting games enjoying fighting games enjoying them together with the other people on the mic with the people at home with the players he's like it's a celebration of the game of just the community of, of everything man like that's what it means to really like a fighting game but this guy here that's not real fighting games is right here the, look at it look at the end right the real fighting games are the people who are about the genre the community center around and who are improving the community the rest are self-centered clowns nowadays especially those who are so resistant so he called Obama a clown, or a self-centered clown. That's the one I want to talk about. Man, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm rambling. I'm sorry. We still watch. I'm rambling, man. I'm getting tight. I'm angry at these kids, man. I'm angry at these kids. But this new, the new school commentator, I'm not talking about like the, the big dogs. Not, there's, a, there's a lot of good commentators, but there's also like dozens and dozens of random dudes that like, they claim to be a commentator. I'm a commentator. I'm not a player. I don't play the game, but I'm a commentator. I'm a commentator. But he called Obama self-centered. That, that's what got me. There's a bunch of these guys, these new guys that all they want to do is do competition. They want to play the game. They don't really want to do much. They don't want to really enter tournaments or they don't want to help out. They just want to do commentary. We call these dudes Mike Vultures. These dudes will be out. We saw, I've seen them. I'm not sure any names. I can, in my head, I got a bunch on my mind where they kind of hover around. Because I do a lot of production, right? I do a lot of production work. I used to before Corona. Dudes will hit you up in the DM. Dudes will be hovering around the table. You know, hey man, you can get on that let me get on that mic man let me get on the mic you got anyone anyone on there so these mic vultures dude these dudes that all they want to do is they want to get on the mic that to me that's a self-centered thing if you're if you're the, that hungry like let me just get on man let me just get on and then you get on and then you do your show you're not even being yourself i feel like a lot of the guys too they're trying to fit like i said this image right this definition of what commentary is supposed to be so a, a little while back it used to be yikes all these these new these new school like aspiring commentators everybody tried to be like yikes they would start screaming. They would start singing. They would start just making noises like yipes. It's like, no, that's not you. That's yipes. You know, you're just trying to be yipes. That's not, it's not going to work. Only he can do that. But now the newer ones, the new, new ones I'm talking about, like this guy, the guy who's angry at Obama, they're trying to be more like, you know, I, I, I guess they're trying to be like, like a Sajem. They're trying to be like a Sajem. They're trying to be very professional because they watch, you know, you watch Sajem, James Chen at Evo on the big stage and you know they got the tie suit and tie on James Chen is crying somewhere and they're being very professional and you know they're doing a great job so these kids want to mimic that but you got to understand that's Evo right that's Evo that's the Evo stage this Obama commentary this this kind of like real the old school FTC commentary this is just as important this is more important in my opinion if we're having a local or we're streaming a poverty game I don't want James Chen there crying I don't want him in the suit and tie crying rambling off frame data and stuff i want someone there that is there like enjoying right enjoying the event and is like really a part of it that's why whenever i watch the new school guys if ever i'm watching a random like like a, a net play tournament you know it'll be like a net play tournament or a, a very like light-hearted event and the commentator is trying so hard to be professional like oh that's minus that's minus seven he's like rambling off frame data he's trying to maybe flex knowledge or it feels like he's practicing right rather than enjoying the event it feels like they're trying to practice for a bigger stage which is i guess it's fine you can do whatever you want you know it's your event but that's just how i feel and it's it's a lot it's this guy i have no idea who he is i've never heard his commentary once but i'm talking about a lot of the 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 newer weeklies i see i feel super super forced 
and I don't I don't want that. And I'm not saying these guys are bad. I I feel like you need to be yourself. I, I said it earlier, but that clip of Obama, that's Obama being himself, right? It's Obama being himself. When I do commentary, I get yelled at a lot. A lot of my commentary, I get comments all the time like this guy sucks. He's saying Japanese words. Remember how angry people get? He's saying Japanese words, man. Talk about the game. You know, tell me what's happening in the game. It's like, no, man, we're at a local right now. We're doing Fighting Tuesday commentary. We're chilling. We're having fun. We're relaxing. We're, we're building a store. We're, we're enjoying it here. But again, I'm rambling. What I want to say, the final point is there is no set definition of, of commentary. If Say Jam's, you know, sweaty commentary is commentary. Just like Obama getting hype at fuck is commentary. Or yipes. And uh, Chris Matrix singing, just literally just singing songs while the match is happening, right? Any everyone brings something different, so you gotta be yourself. If you if you are gonna do commentary, if you wanna become a commentator, you should be yourself. I, I feel like that's the most important thing. You should be yourself. If you like the game, if you actually care about the game, if you actually care about the community, I feel like that's gonna be more than enough. If instead you're trying to like act and like fill this role of what you think this is what commentary should be, if you're just acting, like to be able to snip that out immediately, like this guy is definitely putting on a show. This guy's definitely forcing himself to try and, uh, you know, fit the mold of what he saw some other guy do on a big stage. Or like, I saw an esports guy do this. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to do that. It's not just Obama. We need more of these, like, passionate. What? The... Some guy just got Rob TV. That's his name, right? Rob TV, the Street Fighter guy. He just got kind of yelled at, too. Same thing, right? That dude, is he's just hype. He's just passionate about the games, having a good time, doing host and wear commentary work, talking smack. It's like, yeah, that's, that's good stuff. But, of course, some people got angry at him, right? They're like, oh, no, that's not. It's not professional. It's not real. It's not real commentary. Da, da, da. It's bullshit, man. Don't don't let anybody, especially random dudes like this, don't let them tell you, like, what you should be doing. This is what commentary should be. This is what you need to do. But, yeah, that's all I want to say. This, this guy's mad weird. Look, I I want to give the final message to him. S-Factor Sam, the guy who went after the old school FTC. He says as he's a analysis color commentator. He works very well with play-by-play. -play. He knows when to interject when not to we cut off feed and hype and he says judging from the feedback many people enjoy my commentary across smash tech and soul Calibur fanny strike i'm here to tell you right now s factor sam like i said before your commentary is about you know being yourself and from the 30 comments you left on my video i think you probably are a douchebag and i feel like people don't really like you i can just uh, i can kind of get that vibe so i'm going to take a wild guess here that the furthest you're going to get in your commentary career is being featured in this video right now. This is this is your peak of your commentary career. So hopefully, maybe I'm wrong, man. Maybe in 10 years, you're going to be in that Evo stage. You're going to be living out your prophecy of what proper commentary is supposed to be. If you are, I'll, I'll, I'll apologize. I'll take back my words right there. But uh, stop telling people, you know, this is what commentary should be. This is what it shouldn't be. You have no idea what you're talking about. But yeah, I, I rambled. I don't know if we can end that in the video. But I was tight, man. I'm still tight. But if you're still watching, thank you. Let me know what you think. If you if you disagree, I'm not. And by the way, I'm not saying you have to like it. You know, I'm not saying you have to like Obama's commentary in that. If you're like, I don't like that. I wish they would talk about the game. It's fine. But calling that like that's not commentary. That's not commentary. Get him off the mic. Get someone good on there. Get James Chen on there. He knows. He cares about fuck. Like you can't say that. Everyone's different. Uh, but yeah, let me know. What do you think? Who are your favorite commentaries? Commentators. Do you miss the old? Do you miss the old school stuff like me? When I say old school, by the way, I'm not saying we have to go back to uncensored. You know, people always assume that that it's like we got to go back to when we were unfiltered. You know, no, obviously you can still be hype. You know, you can still have fun, and you can also stay rather politically correct. Because back in the day, it was pretty, uh, pretty bad stuff. Got to find that balance, though. But anyway, I'm, I'm going too long. So if you're still watching, thank you. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I'm, I'm still, I'm still tight. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.